What's up, YouTube? Robert the Corner Drap here, and I've chosen you to listen to my talk about trash TV game shows. So come on down, have a seat, and watch this. Mixing it up a little bit here today, throwing the, the intro kind of second, but I actually kind of really love trash TV game shows. And what I mean by that is very much in the same mold of trash TV uh, talk shows and regular trash TV, which I will be going over more shows that I enjoy here in the coming weeks. Uh, trash game shows are are just shows that have been on forever. You'll catch them on the game show network or you'll catch them on, you know, syndicated television. And they're really not good. They really aren't. And the I think the king, again, we have to we have to recognize those those game shows that are kind of universally loved, are universally watched by so many people that it's not even funny. And I'd say there's about three that really stand out, you know, kind of equal in in ratings as far as trash TV. Jeopardy, Wheel of Fortune, and The Price is Right. Those three shows are iconic. You cannot step to those shows. Every show you do, any game show you have in mind, will be will inevitably have to worship at the altar of these three shows because they they've done what they've done for so long they've they've done it in a fashion that's still relevant and 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 with the longevity and the history that they have it's really quite amazing especially when you consider shows like uh Price is Right that have gone on the air for as many years as they have and the fact that they've actually gone through I think now two different hosts because now Drew Carey is hosting it and I did promise that I would include Family Feud on this uh, and I do uh, very much again Steve Harvey's reactions on Family Feud are what makes you really want to watch Family Feud whenever he hears somebody going just bananas with whatever they're saying it's it's kind of hard to to deny that these these shows are amazing you know um, as far as Wheel of Fortune goes the it was it, it's a very very simple concept and the simple concept is you spin the wheel and whatever dollar amount it lands on you get to pick a letter if that letters there you win that much money however many times it's there so it, it very much becomes can I figure out what you're thinking and uh, Jeopardy Jeopardy being you know probably one of the older shows on this on this list uh, with the exception of maybe Family Feud uh, edging it out is is you know amazing in and of its own right because well Alex, Alex Trebek has never stopped doing it I mean, he's probably one of the few on this list that has maintained his original position of amazing show host. And I gotta say, it's it's been fun watching Alex Trebek just be intelligent and, and witty on the air. He's not very funny, but it's still, you know, got a sense of educational fun to it in some times. Um, let's see, what else? Oh, Family Feud. Oh, God, Family Feud. You will, I mean, Family Feud has been around for long enough now that they've, that they've pretty much honed in on the same formula for almost every show, and there's not a whole lot of things that they can do anymore, and... I'm not sure whether or not some some episodes have like repeated questions from way back when to now, but I'm sure it happens. Like they they probably run very very shallow on the ideas of how many questions can we ask. Um, 
I want to talk about some of the some of the trash game shows that that I've watched that I actually really kind of. Uh, I don't know if I miss them or if they were just intriguing enough to me that I I will watch them if they're on TV. Fear Factor. Big, big in the 90s. Shock contest. Uh, will you, how far are you willing to go for a certain dollar amount? And I think that one was like $100,000. So pretty low bar but still pretty a uh, pretty big chunk of money um, who wants to be a millionaire I mean it's been around forever it, it, it's many many people grew up with it as far as like watching who's gonna win the million dollars and it was actually you know pretty cool um, then there was deal or no deal I, I very much I like Howie Mandel, and I I don't think I want to shake his hand because I I've you know I've heard many many people say he's a germaphobe. He doesn't he doesn't like touching people. He might give you the fist bump, and you know you gotta you gotta respect everybody's comfort levels. So uh, definitely would either give him the fist bump or, you know, nice to meet you. Um, I know that I've really, uh, I've watched it a number of times. It's because Wayne Brady's on it, and Wayne Brady is hilarious. Does Wayne Brady need to choke a bitch? I, 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 I like I said, I love Wayne Brady. Oh, let's make a deal. That's what it was big from the old school and and it it was it you know it got eventually canceled but then again that's the thing some of these shows are not new shows that that have resurfaced and the reason that i believe that all of the all of these shows i've mentioned are trash tv is because it's it, like fear factor we all knew was trash tv and Family Feud, again, not doing anything new, not doing anything really interesting. Uh, I think maybe um, Jeopardy might get away with not being trash TV just because it's educational. They, they definitely try and test your knowledge, so maybe... But Wheel of Fortune, guess what I'm thinking, and The Price is Right being, I guess, I would say the flagship of all trash TVs is is uh, The Price is Right because they've done so many things over the years, so many different, con uh, so many times have they done the same things, like uh, Hole in One or uh, Pachinko, The Big Wheel, always fun, and The Showcase Showdown. Uh, but outside of that, they really don't have a lot of different things that they do. So, but you know, it's it's always interesting to go back and look at see, and look and see the things that we we watch now versus some of the things that we maybe used to watch. There are certainly shows on contest shows that are out there now, like American Idol is still inexplicably around. America's Got Talent. Well, is American Idol around anymore? Maybe it is. I don't know. I've never really been a big fan of it, so uh, couldn't tell you. The um Let's see what what's you know you see you'll see clips all the time from like Facebook and it's it's a it's a good show. Um, I don't know that Dancing with the Stars is, but I definitely know that uh, Mas uh, like Master Chef that is. And uh, there's been a couple others that that have that have done kind of the the contestant route but more reality TV 
and uh, I think the one that I don't I don't want to be on that show even as you know like one of their one of their props I guess you might call them but ink masters ink masters I mean I've got a piece that would require an ink master that would require this is a masterpiece this is something that is going to be you know something I'm going to cherish forever it's gonna take a lot of money it's gonna take a lot of time it's gonna take a lot of talent to do it but um, yeah I don't, I don't know if I'd ever want to go on ink masters and be on there because uh, I can't tattoo for I, I can't I don't know how I have very little artistic skill so getting me to do any kind of ink would be impossible but I have the vision in my head of what I want this to look like and I feel like if I gave it to the right artist they just nope I'm on it I got you don't worry is that what you were looking for yes that on me now do it <laughs> and, and that's that's what I feel will happen um, but no I don't I don't think I ever ever need to to go on that show as, as a dummy I guess or a, or a prop but the game show network it really has given us a lot of of not great not great uh, different shows and they they constantly play like family feud and let's make a deal so I imagine that keeping those two kind of up front and up center is kind of one of those things that a lot of people will watch well I mean I I want to also kind of point back to old old uh, game shows I used to watch that I really like that I really miss like uh, Double Dare Family Double Dare uh, Legends of the Hidden Temple that was another one I really wanted to be on that show I never made any effort to try to get on that show but I really wanted to be on that show same with Guts and Global Guts I wanted to be on that show I, I was not physically active at all I didn't like going outside but even then I was like I want to do that that obstacle course looks baller I want to get this done but yeah I mean you kinda look at these shows and, and you realize that they didn't really have a lot to them they didn't really give you anything great but they gave you something which was uh, entertainment. I hope I've been entertaining. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, do all those wonderful things just down here, and I will see you all next time.